Welcome back to Wisdom Era Online Classes. My dears, in our previous class, we have discussed how to compare a given two numbers by using the signs like greater than, less than and equals to. My dears, in our today's class, we shall learn our what is before number, after number and between numbers. Number if they have given a number like 2 and given to write after and before numbers, if we are adding 1 to this number, we get 3 and if we are subtracting 1 from this number, we get 1. So, we get 1 is the before number of 2 and 3 is the after number of 2 and 2 is the between number of 1 and 3. And the numbers which are which follow one another like 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on are called as consecutive numbers. The numbers which follow one another are called as consecutive numbers. And what is after number? What is before number? I have told you and I would like to repeat it again using the two digit numbers here like 44. The next number, after number, which we get after 44 is 45, that we have got by adding 1 to given number and we have got 43 by subtracting 1 from the given number. So, we get 43 is the before number of 44 and 45 is the after number of 44 and 44 has the between number of 43 and 45. Ideas. Now I have shown you the example for after number and before number using two digits. Now I would like to show you using the three digit number. Now if we want the next number of 777 or after number of 777, we add one to this number so we get 778. If we want the before number of 777, we subtract 1 from this number so that we get 776 which is the before number of 777 and 778 is the after number of 777 where 777 is the between number of 776 and 778. Now, I will show you the last example using four digit numbers. That is, see the number we have given is 5456. If we want after number of 5456, we should add one to give a number that we get. 5,457. 5, if we want the before number of the given number, we subtract 1 from this number so that we get 5,455. Where 5,455 is considered as before number of 5,456. And 5,457 is considered as the after number of 5,456. And 5,456 is considered as the between number of 5,455 and 5,457. My dears, already I have told you what is conjugating numbers. That is the numbers which follow one after other are called as consecutive numbers. Here, 43, 44, 45, 46, what comes after 46 is 47, 48 and so on. Here, the set from 43 to so on, it does not have any limit. Up to continuing the numbers, that all numbers are called as consecutive numbers. The numbers which come after one another. That is, consecutive number of 43 is 44. The consecutive number of 44 is 45. The 
consecutive number of 45 is 46. Here we can write, we can tell what the numbers come after another is consecutive numbers. And here 779, 8, sorry, 780, 781. Here we call all these series of numbers which come one after other has consecutive numbers. Here consecutive number of 776 is 777, where 778 is the consecutive number of 777 and 779 is the consecutive number of 778. And if we are going to say this example on writing the consecutive number for 5457, 5, we get 5458. 5459 and so on. Where? One the numbers which come after, one after another are called as consecutive numbers. And we have already discussed what is succeeded and what is preceded in our previous class. And now it is time to learn about how to order the given numbers. How to order the given numbers. How we can order the given numbers is using the two methods. Using the two methods like ascending order and second one is descending order. What does this ascending order and descending order is? When we write the given numbers like 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Here these are all the given numbers. When we are writing these numbers in a series like from bigger to smaller that is called as ascending order. When we write the numbers from bigger to smaller that is called as ascending order. The numbers which we write from smaller to bigger is ascending number. Here the given example 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9 is in the ascending order. Here if we are writing the numbers like 9, 8, 6, 5, 4, 2, 1, the numbers of series which I have written in this order is descending order. Ascending means writing numbers from smaller to bigger one. Descending means writing numbers to big, but numbers from bigger to smaller one. What this is? Ascending and descending orders. Here, how do we consider ascending and descending order is? Whenever the example is given, if a number is having more number than a previous number or the number which is having bigger than a previous number, we should go on writing that like that. For example, I will show you using the three digit numbers like 7, 7, 7, 7, 6, 7, 7, 4, 1, 7, 8, 6, 7, 1, 7. Here, these are the given examples and they have we should now write these numbers in ascending and descending order. Here the given numbers are 777, 767, 741, 786, 772. Now the given numbers are like this and we should write them in ascending and descending order. First what is ascending order? This ascending order is we should write the numbers from smaller to bigger one. Here which number in this given number is smaller? Yes, it is 717. Because the next first number in all of these numbers are 7. Where 100 place contains the 7 number in all the digits.
digits which, are, which they have given and now it is time to move on to the next one for comparing. We have already learned the comparing of numbers. Now when we are comparing all these numbers, 717 is the smallest number when we are compared this number with all these numbers. Next to this number which is smaller one, yes it is 741.